Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm Sub on a Get Poster, and today we're gonna knock out a couple of uh, side quests and then head on to Day Tower so we can move our plot along. Finally, still pretty. Like I hear some. Oh shit! Just him. Probably good to pass on by. If there were two of them, I would have tried to override one, but, you know. Good horsey. area over here has a lot of uh, critters in it for some reason. Um, I mean, it is a machine site, but... We got a new bow, and those are Terror Blast arrows, and they have an interesting property. They don't do a whole lot of damage. What they do do is uh, they blow parts off. They have what's called tear on them as an effect. And uh, so if you're looking for a particular component um, or trying to take armor off or something like that, tear blast arrows are your best friend. They work great. For some machines, that's really the uh, preferred way to beat them, let's say, because there are things that we'll see later on that tear blast arrows do very well. Now I get back here. Farm a little blaze since I'm always short on it. I like to blow things up. What can I say? Good on everything else. It's not marked. Wonder what killed it. Froth around the mouth. Something it ate. And this is where you find the uh, the boar you're supposed to be looking for for tame. Oh, well. Something caught in its throat. Let's see here. Oh, uh, that would be Tim's ring. Well, at least we didn't have to dig it out of a pile of poo. Yes, I know. Sorry, buddy. You're not allowed. It hurts now, but I'm all the wiser for it. Oh, mother, remember those who have fallen to the Just hanging out by the fire. Yep, yep. Welcome back. I've brought you the boar skins and your lucky ring, Tame. All mother be praised. And you, uh, of course. Where did you find it? Halfway down a boar's gullet. Not so lucky for the boar. I think I'll wear it around my neck from now on. You might want to wash it, too. Looking at some of the weapons that are now available to us. Um, yeah. And uh, 
now that we're out in the world, we can get uh, more upgraded versions of our armor as well. And the, uh, the higher level, the more accessories, let's say, they have. That looks a bit derpy. It's got, uh... Uh, elemental reduction, I think, really. We'll get a little upgrade to our armor. Might as well. So now it'll be a little bit quieter when running around. What is, in my opinion, the best looking armor we don't get for a while. And the uh, probably most protective armor we won't get for a very long while. Slap some fire resist on it, since we get lit on fire fairly frequently. I never use the uh, the melee. There's just you don't get into fights with humans that much. Make some stuff. Some upgrades done. Turkey. There's a reason why I'm always shooting turkeys when I see them. It's because they're one of the very common ingredients in upgrading. The fucking rat bones. Rat bones! No. Rats only appear at specific places, and obviously they're small, so they're a little hard to keep track of. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting you to speak to me. Well, hey there. Curiosities for dreams. I'm still alive. That makes me one of the lucky ones. <laughs> Till my luck Working hard. Keep it's up. like Tame's older brother or something. Something the last hunt was a good one. Struck swift as snow, and none will be going hungry. Oh, and there's this lake up uh, that you can find. And it's full of fish! Which is good, but... Fid fiddly, fiddly targeting, damn it. Ah! And really, here I'm just showing off. I don't always shoot like shit. Alright, well, as you can see, we got a bit of a scrap because our cow is sparking a bit. Now we're almost to Day Tower. Normally your mount will kind of follow the road, but in that case he just wanted to run up the cliff. Pretty. Black smoke, red tatters. More bandits like the ones at Devil's Thirst. Oh yeah, and there's a bandit camp here. We'll knock that out later. Pick up this campfire! And now it's snowing. 
like a bitch. Sounds of fighting. Has something attacked the Karja Fort? What's that I hear? Ah, oh, shit! These machines are dangerous! Trying to do a little prep work here. Oh, fuck. into it, I think, well, oh, there's just, you know, good horsey, cow, whatever. Yeah, it's not gonna be that big of a deal. I got a corruptor. Although they can break rocks, that seems bullshitty. And then, oh, well, that's a problem. And, oh, well, that's a problem, too. I didn't heal there earlier, sooner, whatever. I was doing okay, and then I wasn't doing okay. Because I got stuck on something. And I got corrupted, so I couldn't run or really dodge or anything. wrong button. Yeah. That didn't go so well. It's especially nasty if you're not expecting it. Um, and you just go riding up to the gate and then you're like, ah, oh, fuck! So, yeah, I ate shit. Luckily, it doesn't put you really far away to restart, so let's try that again. Four things. Four. A corruptor. Turn back, girl. These machines are dangerous. Well, no shit. All right. There's two down. that he can, like, blow up fucking rocks. Jesus. So, whatever little cover you can find, it's just like, nah. Oops. Yeah, if you try and set it too, uh, too far, it'll just plop a new start. But I got lucky there and took out the Corruptor, so... 
Now it's no big deal. Much better. The sun shines upon us this day. It's fucking snowing. The sun risking its ass down here. No, yeah, no shit. Thanks for the help, dudes. Girl, approach. Hang on, I'm busy. Stocking up. Girl, come closer. Will you give me a fucking minute? Jeez. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her. Open the gates and send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? To West to Meridian. Yeah, it's day tower, and we somehow well, managed to come so at night and in a snowstorm. The best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left, overlooking the valley. Okay, thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. I do like their armor. Oh, this is day tower for what it's worth. Nothing but trouble. That's all there is in but new glands. I heard you talking about trouble in Banu glands. Was that out loud? Ears must be getting worn down from all those long leg blasts. But you heard right. I'm fresh back from the cut, looking for better scavenging and better shards. Aren't you cold, dude? Not with the Banuk wailing about new machines and talking spirits and their purses frozen shut. What's a trade route without trade? It's just a route. Uh. What is this place, the Cut? When the Karja took up swords and hacked away at the edge of Banuk land, they left the Cut behind. So a battleground from the war. Like the valley outside the Sacred Land. Mm-hmm. Mountain Pass in the far north and east will get you there. It's open to outlanders, hardy ones, like you. Just don't expect much of a welcome. Especially not now. There's a trade route. I thought the Banuk kept to themselves. A we Osiram and the Banuk are neighbors, after all. What's a few mountain ranges between friends? I have some acquaintances out there, still trying to dig a living out of the ice, but they say nothing seems to stick. All the superstitious nonsense and rampaging machines aren't helping. What were these new machines and spirits? Honestly, I don't even know. Going by the number of Banuk funerals, I'd say the kind you turn away from. Not really my style. Well, if you reach my grand old age, you might prefer picking up after hunters in the Sundom. It's warmer, too. New machines and talking spirits? I'm interested. <laughs> Thought as much, just looking at you. Don't say you weren't warned. There's a slip of a trail through the northeastern mountains, past what we call the Grave Horde. You won't miss it. You'll find what passes for a town on the other side. Maybe someone there can talk you out of it. Maybe. Maybe not. Thanks for the information. And that's your introduction to the Frozen Wilds DLC. Um, the Grave Horde is that gigantic octopus tentacle thing up on the mountain. And yes, you can go right up to it even now. Um, but as I've said, we are not going anywhere near there because, ugh, we'll get our ass kicked. That's what I say. And it's not just old recordings and stuff that you find. You can also read books.
It's a rather long letter or note regarding what's gone on with the machines. Terrible giant, the Thunderjaw. I'll have to keep an eye out for whatever the fuck that is. Doesn't sound good. So things are going to shit all over. Oh well. Machines or bandits try to get past me. Can't go in here. My words. Cleverly hidden stuff. There was a guard under the last king. Far cry from those days. I'm busy, Nora. If you need something, speak to Captain Balan in the parapet by the market building. No, fine. Today? Some willing it'll clear up soon. Mostly the same selection. Don't have enough echo shells. Darn it. And the rattler is, uh, Something I bought off screen. It's very much a niche weapon, and I don't really care for it. I'll show it off at some point, but uh, I just bought it for completionist's sake. Don't really care for it. Captain Ballon, the guard at the gate said you'd been to Meridian recently. What can I expect on the trail? Nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. Though after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. I could put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one, but... I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. What is it? Captain. I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I'll let them confirm my fears, so I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Walid, tell them what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. I like Balon. He stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the sight of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. Ha uh ha. -huh. And we'll ask those later. Named Olin come through here. Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vod has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. So what you're saying is it's really not safe at all. That's for everywhere else. Well, travel at your own risk. 
I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I will be grateful, but not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. And we'll run and do that. It's not super far. And there's a campfire right where we need to go, so we can just fast travel there. This is the way onward. We'll just go take a little peek. The world beyond the sacred land. I need to find Olin and learn everything he knows. Who the killers were, how they saw me through his focus. Who the woman is, the one who looks like me. Why they want me dead. Olin's trail leads to Meridian. When I catch him, he will talk. And he will pay for all the lives he's ruined. Break his fucking legs. Yeah, well, we'll go do this side quest pretty quick since uh, we're in the area, so to speak. And the dead dude you're looking for is right here. If uh, you're not used to this quest, you might go all over looking for him or a group of people or whatever. And that's just right by the campfire. The other soldiers must have retreated. But to where? Goose. Honk. Go find a village to terrorize, will you? Another Karja soul's released his death came quickly. I'm sure that wasn't much comfort for him. More cows. We'll just give them a bit of a wide berth. Can't be the helmet from the last Karja soldier. Someone nearly lost his head here, then ran off. Sorry, Fox. Need that pelt. Everywhere. A machine dragged something into the water here. But maybe he made it to that island. Don't see anything close. Yeah, we've got giant mechanical fucking alligators, crocodiles, whatever. Since this is America, I guess they'd be alligators. They're not really anything that you want to fuck around with, especially not four of them. At least at this point in the game. Later on, like most things, they're not too much trouble, but right now, hell no. What is that? I'm never really done. I brought down all the beasts, but I missed out on the feast. I went to the beer fount too many times to count. I fingered every curl, but I what? never won the girl. 
by the sun, by the sun, I'm never really done. If they close the gate, I am left to my fate. They'll find me lying dead on a freezing grassy bed. I do want to go home, where I never more will roam. By the sun, by the sun, I'm really, really done. Hello. I wasn't expecting to be found, especially not by Nora. I wasn't expecting to find a half-clad Karjan soldier singing like a drunk. Well, I apologize for my, um, behavior. But I thought I was dead. Come on. Your commander asked me to bring you back to Day Tower. I refuse to be led back to my outpost by Nora, like some prisoner. Okay, I can just leave you here to rot. Go by yourself. Wait, look. I got in a tussle with a snap moth. It ate the half of me that was armor and bow. The thief is still in the water. I can't go back without a weapon. Find my bow, please. I'll get it. Just don't start singing again. What is it with us having to pull fucking weapons out of things? Oh, there's the guilty party. At least it marks it for you. But before we do that, uh, there's some watchers over here. And you don't want them joining in on the party, because they absolutely will. So we'll take care of them first. Because that little river is not enough to keep them on their own side. When you're tangling with a snap law, really the last thing you need is some ads to come along and fuck you up. Enlist a little aid, just in case. Take that! Alright, here comes our buddy, uh, so to speak. These guys are weak to fire, not surprisingly. Um, they have a uh, pouch under their chin with frozen stuff in it, and they'll spit ice at you and slow you down and make you take more damage, so on. They just, yeah. Actually went pretty well. Um, normally, it's uh, a lot more difficult. Just take care of this guy, so we don't have to worry about it. To your business. Not too bad. I was hoping I could get up here, but uh, no. So we'll have to go around. Ah. 
Again, I hope in the next one they have climb anywhere, because, uh, it'd be a lot easier. Let's go give this doofus his bow back. There you go, dipshit. Here's your bow. Good luck out there. Thank you. I, uh, I didn't want to die in foreign lands like my men. May the sun light their passing. Thanks for this. I need a minute to fix the bow up. Now the snap mod didn't do it any favors. There's this uh, little ruin down here that's got some stuff in it, so we'll head down there and pick that up. Sneaky, sneaky. Make sure there's nobody in there. Sometimes they'll wander up into the stuff and then you're fucked. affordable apartments in the Salt Lake City area. Well, I'm in Salt Lake City right now, and those are hard to come by. Very quiet. Pile of garbage. And some free shit. Nothing up there. Yeah, let's get the fuck out of here. Sides clear. I guess I could have traveled from the uh, island, but you know. Oh, and I bought a map from uh, a vendor, which you can do, that shows off things like where the mugs are, where the vanish points are. And I bought the vanish point one just to save us some searching around, let's say. There's a Last time I pig it was in the sun ring. Just hanging out. Well, that's all I guess he's a tame pig. He doesn't mind us. It's all those savages I, I wonder if they get mad if I shot it. I'll tell Balon good news. Lakir came back on his own, a little words for wear. He seemed a bit embarrassed when I mentioned you. Dare I ask? He has a lovely singing voice. That's a capital lie if I've ever heard one. I'll have a talk with him about it. What is this place exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Karja territory. A trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian, and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vod to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. 
Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King Avad wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... What's Meridian like? It's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the Fallen. It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. So the Karja are allied with the Asuram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Asuram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Asuram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azuram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. Well, thanks. I need to go. Let me know if there's any news about those missing men. Uh, isn't that what we just did? Oh well. That's gonna do it for this episode of Let's Play Horizon Zero Dawn. Go ahead and join us again next time where we keep moving towards Meridian.